So I want to do a quick update on Bed Bath & Beyond stock in this video, break down the charts, talk about what I'm doing, and I also want to go over the overall stock market, which right now, guys, is looking pretty decent. Not crazy good, but it is slightly in the green across all the indexes here in the U.S., so we have a lot to break down in this video. If y'all find value, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, and of course, don't forget to get up to 15 stocks from Moomoo, link down below. It is free money. We'll talk more about that later, and with that being said, guys, cheers. Let's dive right into the video. So it's currently about 2.30 p.m. on the East Coast, and we have Bed Bath & Beyond stock right around $0.10. Cents. It's down about 4 and a half, actually almost 5% at this point, 4 and 3 quarters percent down to be exact. And as expected, this stock's been rocky all day, including the pre-market. You guys can see here in the pre-market, if I zoom in a little bit, BBBY was moving between $0.10 cents as support roughly and roughly around $0.11, $0.11.5 cents as resistance, more like $0.11. Cents. So it was moving in this 8 9% window on the pre-market then once the markets opened up you guys can see on the five day actually hold on a second let me just pop the intraday back up once the markets open we saw bed bath and beyond stock go from 10.7 cents roughly all the way up to 12.2 cents so we did see a big move of around 14 percent which obviously did not last long at all after we got that pop which took about three four minutes after the uh the opening bell right we ended up selling off all the way down to where we are now, which is uh, right around 10.3 cents per share. Again, we're down 4.2% now on the day. So talk about volatility. We had that huge squeeze in the morning. Well, not a huge squeeze, but we had a nice pop in the morning. We sold off aggressively till about noon on the East Coast. That was a move of around 18% from 12.2 cents down to about 10 cents where we bottomed out at. And no joke, the second we hit... 10 cents on the dot. No joke. On the dot. We saw a little spike and we've been consolidating at around 10 cents ever since. We actually got all the way up to about 10.4 cents. Now we're starting to drift back down to 10.2 cents. Again, the stock's now down 4.5-ish percent on the day. So what I'm noticing on the intraday chart, guys, you know, right off the bat is a descending triangle. You guys see this right here. We have clear lower highs being made throughout the day. But at the same time, like I said a second ago, we've been holding 10 cents pretty much all day, especially since noon here on the East Coast, right? Right around 10 cents is where we've been holding. So if Bed Bath & Beyond, if this descending triangle plays out and we fall through 10 cents, let me just say it's going to get a lot worse technically speaking. And mind you, back on uh, on Friday, we hit 10 cents. We held it multiple times throughout the day. So that's a support not only from today, but also from Friday. So this is not looking good at all for the bulls. And you guys know, I'm not going to tell you to buy. I'm not going to tell you to sell here on this channel. That's not my job. I'm just going to report what I'm seeing on the charts, break down the news, and you can go and do whatever you want with that information. And of course, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I'm not going to BS. I'm just going to give it to to you 100% real and this is what I'm seeing right now we had a nice pop in the morning but we've gotten ourselves in this descending triangle which any second now could play out and this stock could be going under 10 cents for the first time in its history believe it or not I mean it's not that hard to believe <laughs> but this stock has not been under 10 cents ever and we just actually hit 10 cents this morning in, in the pre-market which is an all-time low and again if that descending triangle plays out we could be going under 10 cents in no time and will be legitimately a single digit uh, penny stock, if, if, if that makes any sense, right? For the first time in the history of Bed Bath & Beyond. And if we peel back the layers a little bit, let me pull the five day, five minute up. You guys can see, like I said, on Friday, we held 10 cents, which makes it an even bigger level of support. And all last week, we pretty much held roughly 10, 11 cents as well. If I zoom in a little bit here, you guys can see on, you know, last Monday, we held it, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you guys see all these days. So if we push through that 10 cent level, it is not going to be pretty at all for the bulls. And full disclosure, guys, I'm still holding on in my Bed Bath & Beyond stock for whatever it's worth. I feel like there's no point in me selling right now. And I know a lot of you guys are probably in the same boat. You're down a lot. What's the point of even selling? Especially if it's a spec position, which for me, that's what it was. That's what it is. It's a speculative position. I knew I could lose all my money. And here we are. We're pretty much at, at, at a point where I'm down 80% on the position, 75% somewhere in that ballpark. And what's the point of selling? I might as well just ride it and uh, see how it ends up playing out, which at this point, it's probably going to go to zero, but who knows? We'll see how it ends up 
playing out over the next couple of weeks, next couple of months as the whole bankruptcy unfolds. We get more insight on that, which, mind you, we're going to continue to break down Bed Bath & Beyond stock on this channel. So make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell while you're at it so you don't miss any of the updates on Bed Bath & Beyond stock and any other stock that we talk about here on the channel. And overall, you know, the stock market analysis that we do on this channel, you are not going to want to miss that. And by the way, if you have not gotten your 15 stocks yet for Moomoo, what the heck are you waiting for? Use that Moomoo link down below. Once you open up an account, you get one free share of stock right off the bat. And guys, listen to this. Once you fund your account with at least a hundred bucks, you get four more stocks on top of that one stock you got for opening an account. So you get five stocks for depositing at least a hundred bucks and it gets even better. If you deposit at least a thousand bucks, you get 10 more stocks on top of the five stocks, totaling 15 free stocks. And of course that link helps out the channel. So if you want some free money, use that Moomoo link down below. Again, up to 15 stocks for Moomoo, depending on how much money you deposit. And of course, that link also helps out the channel. Without you, this would not be possible. So I appreciate you all as always. Cheers, guys. And now let's continue on. So I have two alerts set right now on Bed Bath & Beyond stock, obviously at 10 cents for the reasons I just mentioned. Then I have another one set at 16 cents, which is the high from last week. You guys can see last Monday or what was that, Tuesday? Actually, no, that was on Wednesday. We hit 16 cents in the morning. I might as well set another one. Why not? Might as well do uh, do another one at 20 cents. Mark is at or above 20 cents here. We'll see what direction this ends up picking in the short term. But again, it seems like the Bears obviously have an edge right now, especially on the intraday as we do have that descending triangle playing out. So let's see how it plays out over the next couple of hours. Maybe I'll make another update video later on today. We'll see. Make sure again to subscribe. And with that being said, guys, let's take a look at the overall markets, which right now are actually turning red. Earlier, I believe in this video, they were slightly in the green. Now they're turning red. We have SPY currently down 0.1%. It looks like it's falling off a cliff here just in the last 5-10 minutes. You guys can see here we hit 417.60 a couple hours ago, just about two hours ago. Now we're completely falling off a cliff, it seems like, down to about 415. And it looks like here on the four-hour chart, uh-oh, SPY is getting rejected. As of now, it's not a huge rejection, but we're struggling to break out of 4.15.16, which you guys know, that's been resistance for quite some time on this ETF for months at this point, you guys can see. So needless to say, the bulls need to break out a 416 on SPY into the 420s plus. That would be the ascending triangle playing out. And of course, that would be a very good sign overall for the bulls. From that point, like I've been saying here on this YouTube channel, guys, this could be going anywhere from, let's say, you know, 425, 430. Maybe it goes even higher than that. So in the short term, I'm keeping a very close eye on 416, 417 bucks per share. That's a very, very key spot here moving forward and on triple Q let me pull that up and see what's going on here this is also down about 0.2 percent and it's also struggling to break out of that four, uh, four actually no 322 dollar level of resistance which has been a resistance at this point for a good month a little bit over a month at this point since the end of March of 2023 so if triple Q clears out let's say above 323 325 there could be a huge pop from that point the ascending triangle would be playing out on triple Q and you guys know my take on that maybe you don't I'll tell you right now if we do break 325 let's say we're probably going to fill the gap in my opinion towards 330 335 bucks so let me actually set my alert now at 323 mark is that we're above then we could start making a move maybe nothing's guaranteed guys but we could start making a move towards 335 which was the high from back in August as you guys can see right here if I zoom in so what are your thoughts let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and mind you guys the VIX is now up 2.4 percent on the day so volatility is starting to kick up again after getting squashed on Friday I believe that was the day it got destroyed let me pull it up on the five day yeah on Friday VIX the VIX got nailed same on Thursday Wednesday too actually uh really it was on Thursday and Friday and today actually we hit a new low on the VIX guys we hit 1550 on the VIX. That is super low. I mean, I'm not trying to be a dooms there, but there could be more volatility coming. I'm still sticking to that. And I do have my position in UVXY still, which right now 
is where the heck is this at? $3 and 40 cents. So I am down a good chunk on it, but I'm going to continue holding it as it is more of a spec play, um, you know, in the portfolio as I am betting on more volatility here in the short term. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. And of course, don't forget to get up to 15 stocks from Moomoo. Moo. Link down below. You could also get 12 stocks from Weeble. So right off the bat, you could get up to 27 stocks. Link down below, guys. And of course, those links help out the channel. Like I said, I appreciate you all as always. And feel free to check out my Patreon. Now's the beginning of the month. The best time to try it out to join. That's linked down below. You get access to my Discord chat. You get more access to me throughout the day. My Patreon portfolio charts and ideas I'm having throughout the day. I post them on Patreon. So check it out. Link down below. And with that being said, cheers, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.